Hi and welcome to another video of SpaceX update. Yesterday, Booster 7 underwent a stress testing on the structural stand. The booster was filled with liquid nitrogen during the test and we could see large sheets of ice falling from the side of the booster. It looked like the structural stand's hydraulic rams provided a thrust simulating Raptor engines. I hope the test went just fine that this morning, Booster 7 was hooked to the load spreader of the crane preparing for a lift back to the orbital launch mount. Axiom Space has provided an update that AX-1 mission to the ISS is set to undock from the space station on April 19 at 10.35 am EDT. The SpaceX Crew Dragon Endeavour is anticipated to splash down no earlier than 7.19 am Wednesday, April 20, off the coast of Florida, the update mentioned. By the time the crew returns to Earth, they will have completed a total of 12 days in space for this mission. SpaceX is targeting tomorrow, April 16 to launch a classified mission of the National Reconnaissance Office NROL-85 from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The mission was originally scheduled for today, but SpaceX needed additional time for pre-launch activities. This will be SpaceX's 14th launch of 2022. The Falcon 9 first stage booster supporting this mission previously launched the NROL-87 mission in February earlier this year. After scrubbing the wet dress rehearsal test for a third time yesterday, Mike Serafin, Artemis 1 mission manager for NASA, says the earliest date they would attempt the next wet dress rehearsal test with the SLS rocket is April 21. The wet dress rehearsal was called off yesterday due to a leakage problem in tail service mast umbilicals. The TSMU provides a connection to the SLS rocket core stage aft section and provides liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen fluid lines and electrical cable connections to the core stage engine section to support propellant handling during pre-launch operations. That's it for now, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any SpaceX-related news in the future. See you next time.